Hey, I'm Stevie T, and today I'm gonna do things a little differently. See, normally I would avoid the topic of seriousness. YouTube has always been my outlet where I could just be myself and just be a goofball. You know, it's my way of coping with my certain anxieties, which we're gonna delve into as well. Things I've never talked about before. So anyways, I went onto the social meds and I asked you guys to ask me serious questions. I'm sorry I couldn't read through all of them, but hopefully I can get to some pretty important questions that maybe a lot of you have wondered about. So Samperna99 asks, Do you consider yourself as a good guitar player? Now that's actually a really good question because I truly believe that once you think you're the best at something, you feel like there's no room for improvement, so you're not gonna get any better. So that's why I've always practiced and practiced and never really stopped trying to improve. And it's not that you ever think you suck at guitar, it's just that as long as you keep in mind that there's always room for improvement, you're just gonna get better and better and better. So that's what I say to that. Paul Gadel, let's go with Goodell. He asks, is there any secret bands that you like? There was a weird stage in my preteen years where I was super into Aqua. I even had a couple of their albums. Hey man, the music was catchy, what can I say? But I never planned for anyone to know that, and now you do, so fantastic. Let's move on. Iramis, or Iramis87 asks, Have you ever had a girlfriend, and are you planning to have kids one day? I'm not saying I will never be in a relationship, but at this point in my life, I'm happy doing what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm really busy doing it. But maybe someday I'll have a wife and kids, but not anytime soon, I don't think. It's not something I'm worrying about right now. I do have a niece though, and that is the baby that I have had in videos, so that should clear the misconception that I have kids, because I don't. So, 1800 Ronaldo asks, Do you still see yourself making YouTube videos in the next 10 years? And to that I say, 100% yes. And as long as YouTube keeps allowing me to do this, you know, I, I almost live in complete fear that YouTube is going to change something. Or maybe one day YouTube won't be relevant anymore and then I'll be back to delivering pizzas. But it is my hope that YouTube will stay on the straight and narrow and I appreciate you guys for continuing to support me as well. So, so hopefully that answers that question. So IJB asks, is there a big difference between you in your vids and you in real life? Honestly, for the most part I am the same person. And another thing people don't know about me is that I'm also very shy. Especially around like large groups of people, I have kind of, a, I guess what you can call a social anxiety, so... And I think that people who I went to high school with, if they saw one of my videos, they'd be like, Okay, that wasn't the guy that I remember in high school. And that's the beauty of YouTube, where I can be myself in front of so many people and not be shy. It's one of my only outlets to really let my personality shine through. San Andreas Fault 115 asks, have you thought about playing an eight string guitar? Absolutely I would play an eight string guitar. Uh, honestly, I don't know why I don't have an eight string to begin with. I guess I've always been happy enough with a seven string, but maybe it is time for me to broaden my horizons and get an eight string guitar. So now I wonder, who's gonna be the first company to send me an eight string guitar? Hmm? Let's take bets. All right, let's move on to the next question. Open Sesame, I like that name a lot, says, do you smoke or drink or party, or did you when you were younger? So this goes back to my whole social anxiety thing. I've never really partied or been to a nightclub. You know, I, I'm far from a social butterfly, so I've always kind of avoided those kind of situations. So I've never actually been drunk, and I've never tried any drug of any sort. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't believe that, but that is actually true. It's just that I'm paranoid of anything altering my normal frame of mind. Unicorn Wizard 666 who is totally evil, he says, what do you do to mentally prepare yourself to be silly even when you're not feeling silly in your videos? That's a fantastic question because because there have been times where I was like having a rough day or I was just not in a good mood for whatever reason, but honestly, the second I start recording, it's just like, BAM! I just turn into Stevie T, and it's like I completely forgot about not even wanting to do a video. So over time, I've learned that I am pretty much at my happiest when I'm in front of a camera, and I love that. So, so thanks for asking that question, that was a good one. Okay, so what else do we got? Seb the Shepherd asks, Thinking of your video, How to Be Deathcore, 
good times. He says, what have you done to lose weight and staying this way? So going back to the whole anxiety thing, back when I was doing that video, I was actually on antidepressants for my anxiety. See, I'm not naturally big, but antidepressants just made me eat a lot. So I put on a bit of weight. But ever since I haven't been on antidepressants, I've gone back to my normal weight. So let's see what other questions we got. King Kyan says, What is your favorite thing to do in your free time other than play guitar? I feel like the more appropriate question would be, what do you do in your free time when you're not doing YouTube? Because basically the only time I get to play guitar anymore is when I'm doing it for a video. YouTube has turned into a full-time job, man. You know, sometimes I'll bust out a mobile game for a few minutes, and I, sp and I like spending time with my family as well. You know, I'm very much a family man, and I have an amazing family, and I so I like being with them, obviously. So, Lonthalskia asks, the funniest people are often the most depressed. Does, does this relate to you? See, now we're getting into the deep stuff. So it's questions like these that I would usually avoid. But I feel like maybe it's important to talk about these kinds of things sometimes. Especially nowadays, like, mental illness used to be such a taboo subject. But I'm gonna talk about these things today because, because these things shouldn't be taboo. So, I think back to school, like, all throughout school I was always the smallest. I, was, I wasn't athletic, I wasn't smart, you know, I, you remember gym class, the schoolyard picks, I was always the last kid picked. And all I ever saw were other people winning things and I just kind of felt like I was on the outside looking in. You know, it kind of made me feel like I, I, wasn't, I wasn't good enough at anything. So I think I developed a lot of self-doubt over that. And even to this day, I'll be editing a video and I'll be like, this video sucks, I'm gonna release it, everyone's gonna hate it. Even, even though I know it's ridiculous, it's just that deep-seated thought that, that is always there. And though I can't say I've been clinically depressed, I, I've had bouts of depression because of that. But I mean, I'm working on it and you guys are certainly helping, giving me such positive feedback and I can't thank you enough for that. And since we're on the topic of depression, there's something I want to show you guys that might be of help to some of you. And I know this is going to look like a shameless plug, but I promise you it's not. There's an app out there called BetterHelp for people with depression or any issues in general who feel like they need someone to talk to. BetterHelp will give you a professional counselor that you can message, you can call them, you can have video conference calls with them. And I know sometimes it's hard to go see a counselor in person because you gotta go there, sometimes you need referrals. But with BetterHelp, you can have contact with a counselor on your time whenever you need it. And it's way cheaper. Look, it's, it's not free. But you cannot put a price on your own well-being. You, you're worth it and you deserve to be happier if you are dealing with depression. So if you think BetterHelp can help you, follow my link betterhelp.com slash stevieT and a professional counselor will contact you within 24 hours. And I've heard nothing but good things about BetterHelp. And it's available worldwide, though you have to be 18 to use it. And if you feel worthless or unappreciated, I just want you to know that you're not. And you're certainly not worthless to me. You make me who I am. And just remember that. Whew. Okay. That was deep. But sometimes it's good to talk about these things. And I feel a lot better getting these things off my chest too. So, so thanks for being there with me. And this leads perfectly into Yan Guli Jr.'s question. Who says, let's admit it. You have a lot of haters. Do they bring you down? Have you ever felt discouraged by them? See, that's where you just kind of learn to ignore what the negative people have to say. Because the honest truth is, someone who leaves such negative comments on a video, or someone who is a bully, most of the time, if not all the time, they're acting this way just to cover up their own insecurities. So in my mind, I can't take it personally. I don't know what those people are going through. And honestly, at this point, it just pushes me to be myself even more. You know, it's all about taking negativity and turning it into something positive. So those are my thinks. So we have a question from Mr. E. Nalmams. Since you are going to do a serious video, I have a question for you. When are you going to stop doing serious videos and get back to all the fun stuff? Well, the answer to that question is now. <sighs> Alright, just gotta shake it off. Alright. So we've dealt with some harder topics today, but just wait for my next video. We're gonna get back to the fun stuff, let me assure you.
I cannot wait for you to see my next one. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for all the questions. And for all those out there dealing with mental issues or depression or bullying, just push through it. You're worth it. You're awesome. And that is the truth. I'll see you in the next video.